Welcome, welcome back. Zoe Flowers here, back with another pick a card reading. And this one is all about your past life and what your most impactful past life, how that is impacting the life that you're living now. Okay, so we have pile number one and we have a bit of sea glass that I picked up while I was at the beach. We have a lock, pretty explanatory. And then we have a die, which is on the number four. And four is all about foundation. So I'm going to just invite you to take a minute to key into the energy of whatever deck you or decks you feel resonates with you the most. And I'm going to play this tuning fork to clear out the energy as you take a deep breath in and exhale out. Okay, I will see you on the other side. All right, pile number one, if you picked the sea glass, this message is for you. So let's check out this past life. Let's see what it's looking like. Okay. So we have a history of unrequited love. Wow. And so we're going to see how, oof, I'm actually feeling this in like my chest and my heart. So let's see how this is impacting the life you have now. So we have breath of the cosmos, my will to thy will, micromanaging the universe. Y'all, I have never done this particular reading on here before I'm totally living for it so I loved and I was not loved in return I gave and was not given in return and that has brought me into this life not trusting, not trusting the cosmos. Even if I am engaged in a spiritual practice, even if I go to church or mosque or temple or what have you, I don't really believe. I don't really believe that I'm taken care of. I don't believe that I'm loved. I don't believe that I'm held. I believe that I have to hold on tightly. And I have to micromanage. I have to be a control freak. I might have problems with constipation. I might have problems with breath. Because I'm constantly holding my breath. I'm keeping myself tight. I might have problems with my joints. Because I'm so tight. So tightly type A wound. Because I don't trust. What else do we have here? Because I'm so focused on what caused that emotional spill. This is the before tarot. Maybe this unrequited love was because of someone being sneaky, someone being showing two faces, someone third party situation, someone tipping over my happy home. 
and spilling out all the love or interrupting so that the, the love never came to me anyway. And I can't take my eyes off of the past in this lifetime either. I can't get over hurt. I can't get over slights. The littlest thing sets me off because of what happened before. The 11th house, the edge, group creativity, humanity, hope, tribe, festivals, common goals, startup, rebellion, experimentation. The invitation for this life is to engage in 11th house activities. But friendships are strained. Again, community relationships are strained because I don't trust. So even if I have my so-called soul family, I don't trust them. I constantly see myself as the worker. I feel like I have to work for every little thing that I get instead of receiving. And then we have the star in reverse. So again, this, this this goes back to my connection, my connections to the cosmos, my connections to the stars, my connections to something greater than myself is stunted because of this primal wound. This was in reverse. <laughs> And so what is the answer? Obviously, to see oneself as the star. But what else? What is the answer here? Whoa. To allow yourself to... We have the animal here to tap into your most primal self, to allow yourself to transform, to shed the past, even in this lifetime, to flirt with the idea of being the queen bee. Maybe to change the way you experience religion or spirituality do some past life healing so that you can balance out your heavy emotions this is a mirror here maybe also doing some mirror work to make sure that you are seeing yourself completely Understanding that the world is complex, that we are more than just one thing, and to make room for all of the different parts of yourself. It's like let yourself breathe, let yourself go. Because this fear of rejection, this fear of being seen is definitely holding you back. No color therapy, but maybe a crystal. Okay, let's see. Let's see what crystal. Hmm. 
What crystal can help pile one? What crystal can help pile one? Hmm. Lapis lazuli. Make a decision. Make a decision about who you're going to be in this lifetime. Yeah, this happened, okay? The cups were knocked over. The emotions were spilt, of course. But you don't have to live in the past. You can be centered in the now. It is a choice. You can be balanced, okay? You can let the wild side out and allow yourself to be complex. I love that. That's what I have for you, pile number one. I hope that it resonates. Please drop down in the comments and let me know, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, pile number two, if you picked the lock, this is for you. Let's see how your most impactful past life is impacting this one. So you actually got two cards. Ooh, cute. Galactic. So we got some star being energy. <laughs> and we have authority figure in reverse. Wow, I feel like this is my deck. <laughs> so obviously, um, coming from a higher realm, a more advanced realm, it's like, why do I need to follow the instructions of these mere humans? Okay, like we're not really trying to listen. I'm gonna follow my own authority, gonna follow my own. Yeah, follow my own authority and I'm gonna follow the authority of the heavens, my spirit. Love it, love it, love it, love it. We have empathic starseed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. So this actually was in reverse. So even though you might have a problem with authority, you still haven't stepped into your full sovereignty yet as a star being. Perhaps this has also brought a lot of doubt into this incarnation. It's like, am I really from a galaxy far, far away? Or is that my imagination? And so then you wind up not protecting yourself and absorbing energies that are not yours. So in this particular lifestyle, this could mean having like different anxiety um, disorders. I'm not a doctor. I'm not prescribing anything. I'm just saying <laughs> like being like nervous energy. Like having a lot of nervous energy because you haven't yet learned how to separate yourself from other people. It's like you're a clear ref reflection of other people's energies. It's like you just take it all in. You just like absorb it. It's like, please bring me all the energy vampires possible. Yeah. So we have judgment here judging yourself very harshly again this is the before tarot before, so in the traditional rider weight of course the people have come out of their graves and i feel like this is repeating cycles repeating cycles because again you're not quite sure where you actually come from. The 12th house, surrender, the house of self undoing. So we have subconscious mind, compassion, dreams, karma, forgiveness, baggage, the unseen, spiritual development, guilt, Akashic records. So there is a need to surrender to who you really are 
and to surrender to your inner authority completely. Yeah. So that you don't feel bound up again. And isn't it interesting how bound is right underneath the empathetic, the empathic starseed. So again, it's like other people's thoughts, other people's emotions taking up too much space in your mind. And it's like causing almost, um, again, that anxiety, that anxiousness, because on the one hand, you know that you don't need to follow anybody else's authority other than the cosmic authority, but you're still bound up in other people's energy. And it's time to blossom. It's time to blossom. It's time to set yourself apart from the good or bad opinion of others. Bad in quotation marks, right? Because ultimately there is no bad. But the unuseful information, the unuseful advice, it's time to set yourself apart and really step into your galactic power. Let's see if there's a crystal here. What crystal can help you? Spirit, what crystal can help pile number two? Yeah, we've got Shungite. Detox your life. Yeah. And again, in this case, it's detoxing from other people's energy. This could mean changing what you watch on. This definitely is my pile. <laughs> this means um, the music you listen to, um, the things you watch on television. Those things are, excuse me, binding you to that other energy. And then it's like you're judging yourself for it. But again, this is like my karmic card. So this is going over and over and over again in cycles that need to be cut out so that you can blossom into the person that you're made to be. So that is what I have for you, pile number two. That's pretty amazing. Um, it's also really interesting that you got the lock. So it's like these are the things that are going to unlock the inner power. Drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, pile number three. If you picked the die with the number four on it, again, four being a number of foundation, this is the deck for you. So, you know, this past life that we're going to talk about is filling the very foundation of your life. It's intricately woven into your cells and into your DNA for better or for worse. We're going to see. We're going to see. Communal living. So past life, you were very much living amongst other people, which is not uncommon for past lifetimes and even this lifetime. Hmm. So I wonder if it's like overcrowding. Wow, we talked about foundation and if this couldn't be more foundational, like houses and things like that. I wonder if this is like a this overcrowding and like your personal space, but let's see. Surrender to the sweetness, Venus energy, pleasure, love, make love to life. Yep. So, and this was in reverse. So just like I'm saying, it's about your personal space. It's like being very much protective and guarded about your personal space and, and almost being selfish. Yeah. Because you had to fight for every little thing, right? Five of Swords, communal living, like living on top of each other, fighting for, again, every little scrap, every little everything. And that has 
left you seeking. So the ninth house is all about foreign travel, adventure, higher education. And so a constant seeking of, again, escape, going away, putting your putting distance between yourself and others, also seeking out different religions and just wanting space, like wanting, yeah, wanting your own space, wanting expansion, wanting growth, just constantly, constantly seeking because of that cramped lifestyle. We have the magician in reverse. And so not Again, right under this Venus energy, surrendering to the sweetness, not understanding your own power yet or not being able to manifest the things that you want to manifest because you're constantly going to other places. You're constantly putting your space, putting space between people because of this memory of the battle. You might even have dreams of battle. In this lifetime, you might also find yourself in communal living, like apartment complexes, project project type situations, again, where you're living on top of each other, again, in this lifetime. Yep. And then we have drifting. So it's like... Not moving with direction, not moving with assuredness because you're so used to fighting. And then we have good fortune. This was actually in the upright, but I made a mistake and put it in the reverse. So how do we get to this good fortune? Again, I feel like every piece of good fortune you had to, you feel like you had to fight for it. You're not in a space of allowing. Actually, I'm going to put this good fortune under. Yeah. Under this uh, ninth house of seeking. So it's like you're always seeking good fortune. You're always looking for the pot of gold in this lifetime. Because the very, again, like I was saying, the very um, core of your being is this memory of being crowded and overrun. And so what crystal can help you with this feeling of, yeah, always being overcrowded? What crystal can help to create some space, healthy space? Phantom Quartz, embrace change. Understanding that this is a new life. This is a new incarnation. And you don't have to keep drifting. You don't have to keep fighting. You can actually put the swords down. You can choose to put the swords down and move towards your good fortune. Even if you haven't experienced it yet, just because something hasn't happened doesn't mean it won't happen. And so thinking about why me, why this, why that, that is keeping you out of your magician energy. This can also be a card of trickery. And so it's like being like tricky, manipulative of yourself and also possibly of others too, right? Because that's what you're used to because you're not used to this pleasure. So it's time to flip that. It's time to flip that. It's time to change it and step into this lifetime and see what you can create in this lifetime. Okay, that is what I have for you, pile number three. Drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.